Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. So in this video, I'm moving my Lightroom catalog from one disk to another. Uh, for me, I'm doing this in prep for a computer upgrade. My machine is uh, four plus years old. It's starting to show its age and I have a new one on the way. I wanna prepare for that. So I have all my photos and everything on you know, a large external hard drive. My catalog's been sitting on the internal drive because it's a you know, faster SSD and so forth. But I wanna move the catalog off the machine so when I get the new machine, bring it in, plug in the external disk, I've got everything that I need uh, in one place and I'm you know, ready to, to keep on running with the, with the new machine and you know, no migration headaches. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do here is just exit out of Lightroom. I don't want my catalog active for this. So just good old fashioned, quit out of Lightroom and then I will go down to the disk and actually move the catalog. All right, so Lightroom shut off, and now it's time to do the actual catalog move uh, on my hard drive. So I've got these two uh, two windows open here. On the left side, this is on my internal disk, the disk you know inside my main computer, and I've got you know a few catalogs that are sitting there here. Uh, this one's for Lightroom, it's my Lightroom catalog. If I go in there, we'll see all the different you know data files that Lightroom uses its magic for. And on the right hand side, uh, I have my master drive, which has a variety of different uh, folders and so forth in it, in particular, Lightroom. So I've got you know my original photos, I've got a few other uh, folders that I use for you know, catalog backups or when I move and export and import catalogs, that kind of stuff there. I wanna take my Lightroom catalog and bring it over into my external drive. So it is simple as drag and drop. I'll let this fly, it's gonna take a few minutes to copy because my catalog's kind of big. The previews tend to take up uh, multiple gigabytes in size. And once that finishes, then I'll be able to launch Lightroom and have it find uh, my, my new catalog. I took a couple minutes, but the copy is complete. And so now I have, still have the, uh, the copy of my, my original catalog still sitting down here on my, my main computer. And then out on my external disk, I have Lightroom catalog. Now, what I want to do is on my, like the old location, the internal hard drive, uh, I want to rename this to like, you know, do not use, okay? Because that's going to do two things for me. It's a visual reminder that this catalog is about to become old. As soon as I start using the catalog that's on my external drive, that means new information, new metadata, et cetera, is all going to be in this other catalog. And the second reason I wanna do that is so when I launch Lightroom, by default, Lightroom's going to look for the last catalog it had opened. It will now not be able to find it because the folder name is different. So that's the last step here is I launch Lightroom and then pick the catalog I've just moved to my external hard drive. So we'll fire up Lightroom. And the first thing it's going to say is, hey, I can't find this catalog that you told me to use. Uh, where, where should I go and get this, uh, this catalog? So I'll say choose a different catalog. And I've got a few catalogs I've used over the years, but I will choose a different catalog. Go into my Lightroom folder, into my Lightroom catalog, the one that I copied. I've got a couple of catalogs there. I know I just upgraded, and usually it's gonna be your most recently numbered one. You can always check the date stamp on it. I'll choose that. I'll ask Lightroom, always load that catalog on startup, and then hit open. Lightroom's up and running. I'm running off of everything off of my external hard drive. So I'm ready to go when I get my new machine. I'll plug in the new hard drive. When I start up Lightroom on my new computer, the same kind of thing is gonna happen. It's gonna ask me to create a new catalog or pick one. I'll pick one from my external hard drive. I've got everything intact and uh, you know, hopefully ready to see super speeds on this uh, this new machine that uh, will hopefully arrive in a couple of weeks. So anyway, that's how I'm moving my Lightroom catalog around. As long as the photos stay in the same place, the catalog can move wherever you need it to because the photos are central, the catalog will always point to those folders. And it's really as simple as just moving things around. The key thing there just either uh, renaming the folder for the old catalog, something to tell Lightroom, hey, don't go open this anymore. And you know, it's, it's like hiding it away from, from Lightroom's uh, memory. So I uh, hope that is useful for you. If you're looking to move your catalogs around, that's how I'm doing it. Maybe it'll work for you. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.